Wow. Y'all ready for Asia? Y'all make some noise for Asia, y'all. Where you at, girl? I was born into a mask. Being what's called the miracle child, I came from the womb of an elderly woman and almost didn't have a father. A man who had already had 20 plus kids, so why should he have even bothered? But luckily, he wasn't in denial. But shit, the only luck I've ever had was to be called a father child. It all started out when I was three years old. Never was able to see my father because of my mother's anger towards him. His face never showed a woman living off wealth. I was born in a project. Mm -hmm. Life already unsanitary from the moment she gave birth to me because I was almost born in the hallway on the dirty rat infested floor. Angels must have been surrounding me because when I first slid out of the womb, she was just walking in the hospital doors. Oh Lord God, whoever knew the life that Jesus had for me in store. Only a toddler. And my mother hadn't had any medicine. My mother hadn't had any money to buy medicine for a sickly daughter. She began to stress with no rest and started using drugs by the time I turned four. Cigarettes were optional and weed is what she would explore. Her first time using crack made her feel good, so she and she wanted more. That's when popping pills and smoking pipes was first endured. Finally, I had no more mother to act as if she were my blood. Love, that's so holy. I hear the devil laughing. What did I do for this? My life is slowly passing. I was a baby crying, but no one ever heard me. Imagine living in this dark world, cold and lonely. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Looking so real. Dark decibels, I hear the devil laughing. What did I do for this? My life is slowly passing. I was a baby crying, but no one never heard me. Imagine living in this dark world, cold and lonely. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Looking so weird. I had no mother to act as if she were my blood, which is another thing. <laughs> Meaning in order to act, you wouldn't have to be an actress. Therefore, if anyone was to simply examine our spit, it would be the exact same emulates digesting enzymes floating in our saliva. A matchmaker gone wrong. Sometimes I ask God, why was it odd that he provided for her? The Bible says, God who shall intrude in flesh and blood who shall be truly loved, but she loved me not. Insisting on drugs and not me, her daughter. She entered the killer, which went on farther to damaging her brain as she received brain from countless strange men. I sat there at the age of 10, watching my mother comprehend on doing the back bend to get what it was that she wanted. It was her body type and shape that was formed and made in her mind. Blossoming at a young age, I had what it was that men decide. My mother had made what was called a mistake, no longer a protector. She hurt and bled during the time she was sober. Realizing it was too late to turn her baby girl over, I still remained her lookalike and continued to be created into another her. So she continued to kill herself. Stabbing her flesh with the drugs so that she would forget the hurt. And since I was my mother's clone, it was my mother's order to sit there and wait my turn to get boned just so she could receive another moment of her getting stoned, another blow to the dome. And she'll forget she ever made her daughter a meatless bone for animals to chew on since this man was dog. It was like I was the perfect penetration gone wrong. Out of reach of a perfect little girl's life of persistence, it was the continuous blood that me and my mother had shed which kept her into existence. The fact that my DNA had matched hers made my life a death I hear the devil laughing. What did I do for this? My life is slowly passing. I was a baby crying, but no one ever heard me. Imagine living in this dark world, cold and lonely. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil against your will. Dark decibels. 
I hear the devil laughing. What did I do for this? My life is slowly passing. I was a baby crying, but no one ever heard me. Imagine living in this dark world, cold and lonely. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil. Imagine sleeping with the devil against your will. Ripping me apart, not giving a fuck about where the tears lag, he climbed between my legs. Forcing his way into the tightest part of my body where all of my innocence were held. It was nothing else left but the smell, his plan to take me, no, bump that. His plan to fuck me, had and fell, and the most domestic part about it is that this possessed demon didn't even go to jail. Because when I gathered all the strength from the soul of my childhood's body to finally stand up and tell the police that my innocence was taken away from my shell. He looked me in my eyes. He told me that I was lying and from the shape of my thighs, it wasn't the very first time that my walls had been caked in well. And I was on the well. Father of Father, why can't you hear me? Why do I only hear these four walls listening? Father of Father, why can't you hear me? Why do I only hear these four walls listening? Father, oh Father, why can't you hear me? Why do I only hear these four walls listening? Father, oh Father, why can't you hear me? Why do I only hear these four walls listening? You, I'm not understanding. This must be a misunderstanding because from the very beginning of my death sentence affected life, I was committed to the man upstairs. My grandparents had told me there was a God and no matter how many bullets had pissed my skin, I knew his spirit was there. But it seemed like the more I went to church on Sunday, the shit was 